warriors saw this woman was not walking on the ground. She was walking above the ground. And so he turned to the other warrior and told him, this is a sacred being and we must respect them. And so as this sacred woman approached him, this other warrior that was there immediately had bad thoughts in his mind because this girl was so beautiful. And so this young, beautiful girl said to this warrior, come, step forward, and do whatever is in your thoughts and whatever is in your mind. And as he stepped forward towards her, a cloud came down out of the sky, and it covered them. And as the cloud raised towards the sky, and the woman was still standing there, but this warrior was all bones. And his bones turned to all the different types of snakes. And she turned to the other warrior, and she told him, go back to your people and gather them in a circle, and tell them that I am bringing something very sacred to the nation. And when the warrior had heard and seen all this, he began to pray. And he went back to his people, and he gathered all the people in a circle. And surely, as she said she was going to come, at sunrise on, on that day, the people waited, and she came. They say she came off of a white cloud. She stepped off of the cloud into the center of the circle of the nation, singing this song. Prepare yourself for what I have brought here is for the future generations. Your people will be strong and happy to the end of this world. If you remember the things that I have brought here and taught you, and it is told that she brought a sacred pipe, she brought a round stone, and she gave us a sacred hoop with seven sacred ceremonies. And along with this sacred hoop, there was a great teaching of how the sacred hoop is connected here with the Black Hills. And she said that all the stars, the movement of the stars, would be connected here with this sacred place. And she said there would be a time when the Lakota people would walk through a great difficult road. And so during that time, we would need these sacred teachings and this sacred bundle. And she left the circle, she rolled on the ground, and as she rolled and stood up, she became a white buffalo calf. And she rolled once again on the earth, and as she stood up, she was a yellow buffalo. The third time, she became a red buffalo. On the fourth time, she became a black buffalo. And then she turned and she went over the sacred mountain. And that was the last time that they seen her. And so these things were foretold long ago and that if we took care of these sacred things and took care of this sacred place, that there would come a day again when the sacred hoop would be mended and that uh, there will be once again a time of, of great harmony and a great beauty among our people. And so that is why I stand here on this sacred mountain, on this sacred land. And I tell these things because these are the things that I want too for my people in the coming time. So the two legged has to get back on the red road again. They must teach their children these things 
They must bring this awareness to the world so that we can once again see a bright future for our children. O Mitaku Oyase, all my relations. My name is Tashunka Okua. In English, that means chasing his horse. I am a member of the Lakota Nation General Council, serving as interpreter for many of my elders. At this time, I would like to introduce my grandfather. His Indian name is Loud Crow, and his English name is Joe Flying By. I would like to have my grandfather say a few things at this time. Many times the grandfathers had visited me and told me these things. And so what we have here is very sacred. And that someday that we would be able to pass it on to the coming generation. And there will come a time when the wholeness and the healing power will begin. So many of these things that we talk about are very sacred and they go very deep. This drum is like the sound of the thunder beings, the heartbeat of our Mother Earth. So the Lakota people, too, they carry this, this sound, this thunder, this heartbeat. They carry it within their hearts. The roundness of this drum is a reflection of the creation. And this drum is used for sun dance. And this drum is used to make beautiful music. And this drum is used for dancing, for when all the people can come together and be happy and dance and be as one. So this is what comes from the drum, the happiness, the wholeness, and the heart of our nation. The sacred staff here in which we have, wapaha, they call it in our language. Not many men in this world are worthy of carrying the sacred staff. He who carries this staff must know how to lead the people. And the feathers that are tied onto this staff, depending on how many great things that this man had done, that's how many feathers will be tied to this staff. And he who carries this staff must be willing to lead his people in a good way, to re-lead his people to righteousness, 
with the helping hand of the Great Spirit.